Hello, hello. Good Wednesday afternoon. How's how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? <laughs> uh, I'm Mac. Welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm doing a special Wednesday afternoon stream. I rarely stream uh, Wednesdays during the day. Uh, my schedule is Sunday, Thursday, Friday. Um, <clears throat> but I'm vacation now, so fuck it. I'll stream whenever. <laughs> um, just give me one quick sec. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, shut off the cam. I'm gonna pull up the window blinds so that my dog can look out the window. Uh, He's kind of a little bit hyper right now, so I want to placate him as much as I can. So uh, let me just go off camera for a second. I'll be right back. All right, Cheebs should be well and satisfied for now, at least. Roll up the blinds, uh, eagle-eyed neighbors will be able to look through my window and see me streaming, but that's okay. Yeah, so like I mentioned, I'm uh, still in early days of my uh, vacation, my staycation. And uh, I'm loving it so far. Um, it's a bit bumpy, I guess. Last weekend is when it uh, officially started. It was a little, bit, uh, a little bit bumpy, a little bit hectic. Just trying to. Um, it's amazing. You're 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 trying to um, kick back and wind wind down, uh, get away from the uh, nine to five hustle and bustle, and then in the process of winding yourself down, that process can be kind of stressful. So it took me two days, like basically the entire weekend to just sort of get into a new rhythm and um, <clears throat> get comfortable with like doing nothing and just having uh, hours upon hours of like doing other things like doing chores around the house and just like taking, taking it easy, taking care of the dog. Um, but yeah, uh, now uh, I got the edge to stream again and instead of... Uh, Pounding on the uh, Elden Ring drum constantly. Like, I will be streaming Elden Ring uh, tomorrow and Friday. So, just to take a bit of a breather from doing the Elden Rings, uh, I thought I'd uh, stream a new game. Hello, us. Uh, Derek's pretty all right. Brand new game, yes. Uh, it is, as you can see, Vampire Survivors. Uh, Derek, how are you doing today? How's your afternoon going? Good to have you in the chat as always so what is this game uh i'm trying to figure that out myself uh it's uh it's one of these uh indie gems that just sort of blew up uh earlier this year um uh, made by i think it's just made by one guy and uh, it's become i guess a bit of a phenomenon on twitch all of a sudden everyone started to stream this game it's a very uh, deceptively simple game where uh, it's a survival game where I'm not sh actually sure if you play a vampire or you play as a vampire hunter. I think you play as a vampire hunter and you the premise is you have to survive for 30 minutes and you're in this uh, borderless or like boundless arena. So you can just move wherever. But you're constantly being uh, bombarded with mobs of creatures. So at set intervals, uh, they'll introduce new types of monsters and you're just from all directions being uh, surrounded constantly by the uh, hordes of uh, night fiends. And uh, you um, basically have to kill them. It's all auto attack. So all you have to do is move. It's a no button game. All you have to do is move around and avoid being hit and as you level up you uh you get your pick of three uh power-ups 
And each of these power-ups can also be leveled up the more you choose it. But it seems to me you're presented seemingly at random with three power-ups at each level up. And so that's basically it. You're just building a character as you go along. And um, I watch other people play this game and once you get near the end, you can become so ridiculously powerful that it, it just looks insane. And the thing is though, you need that power because you're just like there's almost, it's almost like being packed into a subway car uh, with other monsters. That's how packed the screen gets with enemies. So um, yeah, uh, I've not gotten very far in the game. I've only lasted about, I think 12 minutes at most, maybe 14 minutes. So not even halfway. Yeah, going great, just on my lunch, lunchy break. Oh, nice. Whoa, no button, very interesting. Yeah, yeah, so instead of me, I think that's the best I can do to explain it. Give you the back of the box summary. But uh, why don't we just jump right in and I can show you the rest. Let the game do the talking. All right, quick button check, here we good. Um, so it's a very lo-fi game, as you can see. And um, you have your power-ups. So I've only unlocked 2468. And I have not used this before, but I guess you can selectively choose some other power-ups that you wouldn't be able to you otherwise wouldn't be able to get during the gameplay. You can just spend your gold to purchase. Which I have done once on another character. So there are multiple characters as well. So I'll show you in a sec. And uh unlocks, these are just achievements. That's pretty much it. And uh, options wise, there's not too much going on. <laughs> As you can see here, you're not going to be uh, turning on ray tracing or anything uh, for this game. No ambient occlusion. It's a very, very simple 2D game. Like I said, uh, made by one person. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so. Right now we have four characters. I believe there are more characters coming down the pipe. Uh, via I think free updates but for now we only got four uh, I, I used Antonio a couple times he is like your Simon, Simon Belmont type character with the whip uh, Imelda is the one I most recently was playing with she is a, more of a sorceress and I imagine this Pas Pasqualina is also a magic user from the looks of it I do have enough gold to unlock Pasqualina, but uh, I'm actually holding up for uh, Gennaro, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. As they're, all, they're all from the same family. Imelda Belpasse. I, I believe that's how you say it. But anyway, let's go by their first names. Gennaro, he's uh, 550. So 493, I think another run or two, I should have enough gold to unlock this guy. So since he's the most valuable i assume he may be the most powerful cool so i'm gonna use uh imelda again okay let's get into it so uh imelda is purely auto attack um with um the guy with the whip uh you actually have to whip in the direction you're facing so there is a bit of um i guess directionality to how you move around and i find that it's okay like the whip is very powerful but you have to be up close that's why i prefer imelda so yeah you basically can use the whip from the uh simon belmont guy but i think i'd rather have the fire wand i always start with the fire wand maybe i should do the whip i'll show you how the whip works See, you can see I'm facing left, so I whipped left that time. Yeah, very strong, but again, you have to be facing the right direction. There's a specific mob of enemies you want to target. Garlic, I really like. 
you can see, uh, you're just fed three power-ups at a time. You can only pick one. Uh, freeze is also good. Axe. Axe is... I'm warming up to the axe, but I think I like garlic better. So at first I thought you were playing vampires, but then when I start to see the power-ups, some of them are like holy book, which is like a Bible, and you have garlic. It's okay, okay, there's no there's no way I'm playing a vampire, because these are all anti-vampire <laughs> items. <laughs> and you have to excuse me uh, today. I am uh, suffering from a bit of the sniffles. I believe it's uh, a case of the, the hay fever we got going on. So it wasn't as bad as as it was during uh, lunchtime or this morning when I was just like sneezing up a storm. Hopefully, it doesn't get worse than it is now during the stream. I hope I don't start sneezing uncontrollably. Uh, Derek, how's your uh, how's your workday going? Holy crap, they really keep just keep coming. Oh, ho, ho, Derek, you have not seen anything yet. <laughs> just you wait. Spinach, spinach is good. After I've kind of gotten some power ups rolling, I, I find uh, it's good to kind of just build up a foundation of different attacks. Um. Okay, so yeah, we'll go for a magic wand, which is like the blue bolt that's coming out. I think it's gonna shoot twice as frequently now. The garlic is like a protective uh, barrier. It just kills anything that gets close to you. Which is why I like getting the uh, damage amplifier with uh, the garlic. I can level up the garlic again. I'm just gonna... The whip, once you get to level 2, you'll get uh, a backwards whip at the same time. So that's very really useful. Wings is great too, because you get to move faster. Ooh, I'm just gonna pop the garlic. I'm a big fan of the garlic. Like having a nice garlicky meal for lunch and then come back to the office and breathing into everyone's faces. Hello. You just give them a nice big blast of your garlic breath. Um, weapon cooldown. The Pichon. I just call them doves. <laughs> the doves are good. They're very flashy. I'm gonna upgrade the whip. So we get two directions, yeah. yeah. So like aiming isn't as much of an issue. Your facing isn't as much. Oh shit! The the huge bat swarm is is the worst. I'm gonna circle back. Shit! I've gotten caught in that huge bat storm before. It's not fun. You just lose a chunk of health, even if you have a protective shield on you. It's just really bad. White doves, very John Woo. <laughs> Workday is going okay. Start the day with three back-to-back -back meetings. Ooh, baby. Gotta love chaining those meetings, eh? Well, I hope you came out of those meetings wiser and, you know, Kind of like better equipped to handle the uh the tasks at hand you know i hope it, uh, nothing's worse than the, having those meetings where either you don't have to be there and you're just kind of there as a fly on the wall and you f fall asleep or or they just like meander and you have like the loudest person in the room sort of like dominating the entire conversation and it just goes off the rails for 10 or more minutes Ugh. Gotta, gotta hate those meetings. Uh, the attract orb. Okay, I've used the knife before on the other character. It's okay. The attract orb. Oh, I have used this one too. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I mean, uh, let's keep leading into the magic wand. Yeah. 
It's auto, auto aim, auto attack. Good for a noob like me. Grab more of the. Yeah, you cannot level up unless you pick up the blue gems that are dropped by uh, defeated enemies. So, well, FYI, there. That's why it's a. Uh, it's a bit of a Pac-Man. <laughs> bit of a Pac-Man mechanic. Okay, uh, we will add Fire Wand. <laughs> we have this one copywriter who goes off on the longest tangents. Haha. <laughs> it was one of those kind of meetings. Oh boy. Yeah, that's, that's when it's very useful to have uh, whoever's hosting the meeting. They uh, need to rein, rein these people in. And it can be tough, uh, especially if like the person who likes to go on tangents is like uh, a leader or, you know, like a senior person in the company. And then you, you're the one who has to tell them like, OK, shut up. It's time to shut up now. <laughs> Let's get back on track. Um, that's, OK, the freezing. I can be like a big vacuum for pickups. Or I can have a chance to freeze enemies, or I can just go for armor. Let's go armor. I never actually picked armor before. It just—it's not a very sexy uh, power up, but I'm sure once you start stacking it, it, it will be a lifesaver. I'm sure. I hope. I hope it will be. Anyway, that's actually quite relaxing right now. Uh, only starts to like, heat up. I think the first. Inflection point is at level 10. That's when they um, pull, start pulling some shit on you. Um, speak of the devil, I'm at level 10 now. Uh, spinach, I think it's spinach line. Start uh, increasing that base damage for all my attacks. Nice, we gotta remember to uh, destroy these. Uh, what do you say? Bra braziers? These torches? Stationary? Yeah, I don't know. These torches are stationary. I'm trying to say. Woo! Okay, let's get the let's get the doves going, shall we? Wand, yes. <laughs> you like wands, do ya? <laughs> now our bird is gonna be like um he does like military airstrikes. Tactical airstrikes. You'll see. He's gonna go off soon. Come on. Yeah, there, there he goes. Like heat seeking bird poop. Alright. These levels are coming to hot and heavy. I like it. Ooh, max health. Tactical airstrike dub. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you can get an airstroke, but I think that's something else. I think my doctor warned me about getting an airstroke at one point. Uh, let's go for the Santa water. If I read that right, yes, yeah, Santa. Santa's involved here. I like the whole uh, area of effect, like damage. I think it's very useful. Once the screen starts getting completely filled with enemies, I got hit there. How dare you hit me? How dare you lay a finger on me? I gotta backtrack. Oh shit, yeah, that's what I mean. They start uh, to close in on you with these um, man eating plants. Yeah, that, that starts to happen at level 10. Let's see here. Uh, he'll he'll fire. He'll do more airstrikes, basically. So let's, let's let's lean into the airstrikes. Tactical dove. Let them go. Yeah, dove. Just pretend all these enemies are cars parked <laughs> in an outdoor parking lot. And you just have your, you know, you have your pick of all the cards of crap on. 
Oh, I don't need the chicken yet, so we're gonna save the chicken. Classic chicken on the ground. Uh, oh, yeah, let's get spinach again. I wonder if I should raise my max health soon. Yeah, I don't really have like a, a specific build I'm shooting for. I'm just trying to freaking survive. But I think eventually, yeah, I think pretty soon I may want to pick the health boost. Just because I think there comes a point where you just have to be touched by some enemies. Because there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to move. Look at this. Look at this. Mob of people. It's like a Black Friday sale. Opening day. Black Friday sales at Best Buy. Everybody, form an orderly line into the store, please. No pushing. I said no pushing. Damn it. This is getting hairy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that pre mantis guy. You want a piece of me? You want a piece? Of oh, shit. I, I, I don't need the chicken yet. I'm gonna hold on. Hold on. Oh, I picked up the chicken anyway. Oh, shit. The bats. <laughs> oh, shit. These are the bats are just like barging ahead. They're just pushing. All the other mobs forward. Oh, that was scary. Oh shit. Get away! <sighs> Saved by the level up. Temporarily. Uh, okay. Can... Candelabrador. Candelabrador. Let's increase the area of, of attacks. Sure. Uh, oh, I just got in the way. Oh, shit. I keep wanting to double back, but the, the horde of bats just keeps cutting me off. Wait, they stop for now. Oh, there's an arrow pointing me towards something. Gotta okay, get back there. Oh, the trees are sort of like being a, becoming a buffer for me. That's nice. Oh, there's, there's like a... What is that? Oh, sweet! I never picked this up before. This must have only be temporary. Sick! Oh, I, sh I should have went back to the main mob to use the uh, flamethrower. That was amazing. What? Oh, he just had guys materialize out of thin air. What is that? Lots of level up opportunities here. Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. Oh shit. And uh make a path for ourselves. Yeah, let's grab some more gems. Nice. Hello, am I at now? Not hard to see through all the uh, confetti. Uh, reduce weapon cooldown. Okay, let's increase my health. Like I said, I would. Level 16. Okay, not doing too shabby. Not doing too shabby. I might go. I think I'll go pick up that chicken over there. Just because I've increased my health cap. Just wanna pop up. I kind of outran the uh, main group for now. Oh, here it is. Chest. Yes! Oh, okay. Got a free dove upgrade, I guess. Level three. Be shown. Done. Thank you. Yeah, Birdie's going ham now.
Oh shit. Ran into the bat by accident. Fucks. Oh, this is the freezer. Nice. Use this time to just sort of beat on on these enemies. Oh shit. It's kinda hard to double back the way I, the way I came, because that's where they Oh shit, yeah. No, they're trying to trap me again. Uh actually let's get the let's get the wings. Is it opening? <laughs> oh shit. That's what you gotta do. You can hold out in the in this in the middle of the circle. Uh because the, those plants will eventually disappear. But yeah, if your DPS in like I guess AoE isn't up to snuff, it's gonna get real crowded in there. I just try to make it a policy to, to break out first chance I get. Oh shit, just touched the zombie by accident. Some chicken though? We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I got break out. I got break out. Shit, yeah, yeah. I always die in this part. Oh shit! <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Get away! Get away! I'm too young to die! I'm too young to die. Oh god. I think that's it. I think it's lights out for me. I can never get past this horde. Um, just more damage, I guess. Oh! Find an opening! Oh no, there's a huge mantis bug! <laughs> I think it's, it's not gonna let up from this point on. It's just gonna be like this. Terrible. No! Get out of there! Well, these werewolves are nasty. They, they take forever to die. Yeah, it just uh, goes on forever in each direction. Which is, in a way, kind of good because you never get boxed in by walls. At the same time, you kind of lose all sense of like. Oh, that's a chicken. God bless. Oh shit, I kind of fucked myself now. I fucked myself, I fucked myself. <sighs> I should not have uh, went along the trees like that. That was so stupid. Oh, I almost made 13 minutes. Almost. Okay, got some achievements. Get a total of 5,000 enemies. Unlock lightning ring, that sounds good. This game crazy. Also crazy that it's just one guy who made it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just one guy. I mean, we can just double check the credits. But when I checked on the the Steam page, it, when it's where it says developer, it just has the guy's first and last name. <laughs> See here, credits. Programming, Luca Galante. Oh, you got some art help. That makes sense. And, and help with the music. That's usually how it goes. So, yeah, he has, he has a small team. You know, makes sense. No man is an island. You know, he, uh, he has a community manager. 
has hel people helping out on localization, of course. But yeah, mostly, mostly, uh, one man, one man project. Since he did uh, all the programming, yeah, very small team. Cannot scroll with the uh, controller. Special thanks. Somebody did the trailer for him. Tech stack. Phaser 3, Rex plugins. Electron, I've never heard of these um, engines or APIs or whatever. Not APIs, but the, I'm trying to think of the other word. All right. Do we have enough to unlock? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gennaro, he's like the barbarian. Dual-wielding. Brawny. Yeah. Not wearing any shirts. All right. Oops. Let's do it. What's his... Oh, he, sh he fires off... Uh... Daggers or swords? He's just throwing swords. You have to control the direction though. He just fires in the direction you're moving or facing. <sighs> Birdie. Changing the bird is kind of more flash than substance. Oh shit, I ate the chicken for no reason. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop getting the bird. He's actually hitting very little when you, when you stop to uh, observe. Excellent range on uh, my projectiles, though. They just go all the way to the end of the screen. Lightning ring. Here's the new one. Oh, yes. This this looks good. There we go. Oh, it's very uh, infrequent, though. It's sort of uh, not too impressive now, but I wonder if I could keep upgrading the lightning ring. It may start. I don't know if it does like a chain lightning effect. That'd be that'd be awesome. Like eventually, right? I just got the Bible, King Bible. Going to lurk mode while you work. Good luck on your 30 minute goal. Well, thank you, and uh, good luck on uh, good luck on your work at the office. <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for the lurk, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll chat uh, soon. Give me some chicken. Find some floor chicken. There we go. I'm gonna get that garlic again. Give me the garlic. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, more lightning. There we go. Oh, there we go. And the lightning ring is where it's at, guys. Let's get the knife. I was uh, poo pooing the knife before, but it's actually decent. <laughs> oh, here we go. The sneezy sneeze. It's basically uh, adding on to what I already have. Gennaro actually has a knife by default, in the same way that, uh, is it Benicio? You got the whip. Oh, I always forget his name. Yeah, he starts with the whip, but you can always pick up the whip as a different character. And uh, add it to your arsenal. Oh boy, the hay fever. Hmm, more Bibles. Stuck on geometry for a second there. I actually got stuck on a sprite. <laughs> really much of any geometry in this game. Labrador, whatever. These ghosts are awfully aggressive. I'm gonna just double back here. Oh, look at this. And that'd be Pac Man. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, it's the plants again. Find an opening. Yeah, I'll take it. If it means breaking out of the circle of death, I'll take it. Barely uh, scratched me anyway. <sighs> More knives. in the wrong direction. You really gotta stand your ground if you really want to nail someone with the knives. It's gonna be kind of annoying. As soon as you move in another direction, it starts firing in that direction, which kind of sucks. Pick up all the uh, blue gems that are easy to grab. Okay. Yeah, shield this time. Laurel. There we go. It's uh it's a bit of an intense game, but it's also Strangely relaxing. There is something refreshing about a no button game like this. You do not have to worry about control schemes, you don't have to worry about too many mechanics. The mechanics are kind of like 
your knowledge of the power-ups and how you can combine them. I'm still learning, but uh, that's not a manually demanding. Oh shit! Barely got hurt by the bat swarm. I got hurt, and then I just got my life back. It was great. I feel like I'm a ah! Okay, that hurt. Back. Just so gotta get the spinach, guys. You guys all remember Popeye, right? You guys uh, old enough to remember Popeye? Some of you are. Got a clover? Four leaf clover? What's that all about? Freeze time! Chicken. Chicken to go. Go big circle back. We'll pick up that chicken. Hang, I like to hang out near the food. Where, where is it? <laughs> it's sort of like in real life. I gotta loiter where I know there's food around. And if I, if I need to move away, I just make plans to come back for it. We open up a. We, we revealed a, another plate of chicken over here, so I don't have to go back to the spot where I was intending to go back to, but it'll get to pick up the gems. Looking bad. Shoot. gems down here. Nice. Uh, let's get the uh, health. They haven't uh, given me uh, the uh, lightning ring upgrade for a while. Got the chicken. I do find myself really pushing on the uh, left stick in whichever direction I'm moving just because I want I want him to move a little bit faster than how he currently moves oh yeah thread that needle for, for a big brawny guy he's pretty uh, agile isn't he and a three leaf clover I said it was a four leaf clover at the start but it's actually three leaves Bunch of gems. I think I'm gonna get cut off pretty soon, so. Oh, I got hit a little bit. Lost my shield. I think the shield comes back. Yeah, it just has to uh, cool down a bit. Comes back. Oh shit. Lost it again. Oh no! Ah, oh, shit! Oh, man, I got... Oh, I got trapped real soon that time. So, by level 12, I have got to have my DPS up to a point where I can just cut through that mob like a hot knife through butter. You know what I mean? Because even now, this time... 
I thought I was doing okay, but I wasn't doing enough damage. Find a little clover. A couple more achievements. Yeah, the, the, the hay fever symptoms are uh, definitely making me more thirsty, for sure. Uh, let's plug out my nose, so I'm, I guess I'm breathing through my mouth. Oh, a lot more. You can hear me uh, getting stuffed up, right? Oh, gosh. Okay, so it's just repeating the achievements now. Uh, Mad Forest, normal, gold times one. Yeah, I did worse with Gennaro. Best DPS with the Lightning Ring, followed by the Knife, followed by King Bible, and then last is the Pichon. May as well unlock uh, Pasqualino. Let's uh, see what the uh, Pasqualina is all about. Hello. Oh, his um, this thing bounces around a bit. Fires very slowly though. Like uh, shit. How we got here? He fires so slow. And I can't control the aim of his, uh... It, it uh, pierces, which is good. Uh, let's use the freezing. He's slow, so I need to slow down my enemies. Uh, I don't think I like this guy. Uh, chances are, this is the type of character that m maybe most players don't like at first, but you give him some time and he probably becomes a powerhouse. <sighs> yeah, he's like really freaking slow. I think getting something like the wings would be really useful with this guy. Definitely need the lightning ring. To speed up the, uh, to increase the DPS here. Okay. Oh, that, oh, that piercing is pretty cool. Oops. Go. Attract orb. More useful. By the way, I'm streaming until about 4 p.m. today. But I don't know if I can play this until 4. To be honest. This is a type of game that's like good in short bursts. Uh, yeah, garlic, garlic, garlic. I missed having the garlic on the last run I did. Like for someone who fires so infrequently, um, having constant like damaging 
barrier is very useful. Of course, when the level 12 mob comes, I don't know if this is necessarily going to save me. What is this rune tracer? Oh, that's my uh, default uh, weapon. Yeah, sure, I guess. I mean, it's my bread and butter. I do like the combination of Chance of Freeze and the Lightning Bolts. Coming down. Oh, I gotta pick up my special chest. Ooh. Doggy. Doggy left. Oh, there he is. What is this? Attract Orb. Oh, I got you. And I leveled up. Oh, recovers 0.2 HP per second. Well, that's really stingy. Obviously, yeah, they can't go crazy with this. Otherwise, it would be OP. Lightning Ring. A bunch of things happened in that moment. I got the chest, I leveled up, and I got hit by an enemy. E. Quick. Uh, I never quite understood this one. It doesn't really have a, much of a visual presence. Oh, maybe maybe it does, actually. I'll go for the shield. I think I have seen the, uh, the, the damaging zones from that Santa water before. Having a shield and garlic, it's pretty boss. Oh, sh shit. Um Oh, I don't like any of this stuff. Oh shit, I got my ass kicked there. I am really stupid. I need some health, quick. Oh, uh, give me some chicken. No chicken? Are you serious? Get away. Chicken! Oh no, I need to find an opening. Getting boxed in again. Ah. Yeah, there, right? Yeah, the randomness of the uh, the level up uh, power ups is uh, hard to keep something going because they just switch, keep switching it up on you. Like I did not want to get the the fireballs, but that was the best option at the time. Just went for it. Maybe it wasn't the best option. What is this one? Oh, it's the flamer. Nice. Oh, perfect. What we got? Oh, well, chicken icon, so classic. Hey, Derek.
flame broil going on here. Let's send it to this one. I think it's just a coin. Pause for a second. Itchy. Okay. Itchy and sniffly. Now, what does the luck factor into, exactly? Go the health regen. Shit. Shit. Oh. This one of the bats got me. Help. I need some chicken. Shit. Chicken. Okay, well, I'm topped up now. Speaking of chicken, I've been having a lot of chicken to eat lately. I mean, it's just so good. Alright, let's go for the luck. Does that give me, like, a better chance to uh, get good power ups, or what's the deal? I don't know. Uh, level 12 skeleton storm is coming. Matter of time. Shit. I don't feel like I'm well equipped to handle the skeleton storm. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. You think you're heading towards like open fields? It's no, there's like another wall of enemies coming towards you. Okay, I need to start picking up uh, blue gems or else I'll never level up here. Right, here we go. Promise land right here. Oh no. Don't get boxed in. I say open, right? There we go. Ate it. Greedy went for the gold coin. Take a bit of a breather here. I haven't been choosing the empty tome.
Let's, uh, let's uh, keep increasing my luck since that's what they're giving us. I'm a little bit torn about my strategy to save the chickens for, for when I'm actually hurt. I mean, this makes sense. But sometimes it's so hard to get back to that spot. Especially where, when we're at this point where there's just like straight mob in all directions. Here we go. Shit, how do you, how do you break through? I think I'm doing it wrong where I just have to be patient, obviously. I can't just start pushing through right away. I'm not a big fan of Pasqualina. Not a big fan. Okay, um... I need to reload on water and maybe uh, blow my nose. So I will be back in a few minutes.
all right that was longer than uh a few minutes but uh i did need to uh blow my nose a couple times get some more water okay Vampire survivors. Okay. Where were we? Right. So I don't think any particular um, character so far is really stands out. I know that I don't like Pasqualina just because his starting uh, ability is the. Uh, Rune Star, whatever it's called, and it's really slow, despite uh, bouncing, uh, bouncing around a couple times, and you know the pierce multiple enemies. It's hella slow. So far, I would say I like Imelda the best. Imelda, yeah. Starts with the uh, magic wand. Antonio, that's his name. So Milda first, probably followed by Gennaro, and then Antonio, and then last is Pasqualina. <laughs> so Antonio gains 10% more damage every 10 levels, maximum of plus 50%. Milda gains 10% more expense every 5 levels, the max of 30%. Pasqualina, same. Oh no, Pascalina projectiles get 10% faster every 5 levels, maximum 30%. And Gennaro, permanent plus 1 projectile, all weapons. Permanent plus 1 projectile? I'm going to play Gennaro again. Alright. I'm going to take a different uh, strategy this time out. And we'll see how we'll see how we do with the with the power ups. It depends on what power ups they give me, as well. Can't really execute a strategy if I don't get the tools I need. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh shit! I'm trying to like turn to to face my pursuers, but. Uh, Stand your ground sometimes. Magic wand. One magic wand.
this reminds me ever so slightly of Geometry Wars, if you guys remember that game. That was, I think that was a pack-in game for the uh, Xbox 360. Like, the console came with a disc, which was Xbox Live Arcade, and it came with a few arcade games, and Geometry Wars was one of them. It was awesome. <clears throat> Rune Tracer, that's what it's called. I think about the freezing. I don't think they're gonna give me the lightning lightning ring. The lightning ring. <laughs> no lightning ring this time. Maybe later, hopefully, because I really like the lightning ring. Go for an extra knife then. It's gonna be like that. Get the bag. They say. I'm getting the bag. Oh shit. Oh, hate it. Spinach. More damage. Set effects last one second longer. Uh, hmm. Where's my Bible? There it is. I think this game has been solved by people already. Uh, I just don't know how they did it. I think I'm waiting for a stone that coming. Here's a knife, I guess. Having multiple knives hit the same target is pretty devastating. Yeah, the knives do a lot of damage, don't they? Oh, 
enclosure is happening. Well, I'm gonna be a. I'm being tough this time. I'm staying inside the circle. They froze at a second log. Ah, oh, that wasn't too bad. Enclosure. I just gotta figure out how close they can get exactly before I need to before I get hit, you know? Zombies towards me. Oh, thank you, Derek. Uh, how's your work going? Oh, well, remind me, please. Do you work uh, entirely from home, or are you hybrid, office and home, or all office now? You know what? I'm liking the knives. We can go knife crazy this time around. Hopefully the knives will help me uh, punch a hole through that mass of uh, skeletons at uh, level 20, roughly. Oh, there's some chicken. Yes, and Tally from home. Oh, nice. I work in space out of Brooklyn, so I can't go to the office. Oh, I didn't know your company's in Brooklyn. And you got a bit of a time difference there, too. That's awesome. Yeah, once you once you get into the work from home um, groove, it's hard to go back. I know my player has a uh, pretty nice digs. All things considered, oh shit, that was that was uh, stupid of me to take that risk. But yeah, nothing beats just. Not having to get dressed up, not having to do a commute. Oh my gosh. Not having the commute is like number one blessing. Yeah, the time difference is hard. Sometimes we'll have 6 a.m. meetings, sometimes so the East Coasters can have their 9 a.m. meeting. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. You gotta wake up early. That's the ass crack of dawn right there. To show up at a work meeting? Damn. by that oh shit we got a lot of exposed chicken everywhere it's good I'm gonna make my rounds see if I can just work oh sh oh I don't know how I avoided that but that was close Yeah, my company, we have some workers who are based out of the UK. So, uh, UK time, I believe they are like eight hours ahead. I saw something. Seeing things. Never mind. Yeah, it makes uh, booking meetings a little bit tricky sometimes. Do the chickens disappear after a certain uh, time? Or are they there until you get them? Uh, they stay until you get them. Once you reveal them, the chickens are there. They're there for good. Even if they get trampled by the uh, monsters. Yeah. They'll, they'll hang out until you eat them. As far as I know, anyway. 
But yeah, there, there's been more than a few times I've kind of made a big detour and I've looped back around to pick up a chicken that I've been meaning to grab and it's still there when I, when I go back. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't like a different chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. More knives. Go knife crazy. Time. Here's where I needed the chicken. Not that I got hurt too badly there, but that swarm came, came out of nowhere. chicken I am probably gonna be eating chicken tonight more chicken and I'm trying to hold off on ordering takeout from my favorite chicken place maybe say that for the weekend or for next week because I still got a fair amount of food to eat in the house so I shouldn't uh shouldn't go crazy just yet Oh shit! No! Oh my god, I was just like scratching my face. And then the big swarm came for me. Ah, oh, my beautiful chickens. Oh, they're trying to trap me again. Yeah, it's a little dicier now because I don't really have a clear. Ah, you bastard. Some damage there, I was getting boxed in too much. Chickens down. Oh come on. I thought I killed it. <sighs> some big damage there. Ooh, that's right, your wife is away. Hey, how's it been holding down the fort by yourself? Oh, it's been fine. It's been kind of nice. Um, yeah, I mentioned off the top of the stream that first couple days were kind of still a bit stressful. It's just like first couple days of like uh, my vacation, like over the weekend. It was just sort of uh, shifting down, right? Um shifting gears and just kind of getting used to hanging out you know kind of filling the hours on my own hanging out with the dog and doing more chores around the house and just sort of like getting getting used to being alone a bit more yes because i we've been living together for years and years now and it's very rare where when we're apart so just kind of getting used to that kind of bachelor life again it took me a couple days for sure yeah, the dog's right beside me, actually. He's just on his uh, big plush bed, but you can't see him, unfortunately. Yeah, doggo's still here. I, I'd be pretty miserable without the dog, I think. It would be a pretty uh, lonely staycation. <laughs> kind of dull. And there's only so much Elden Ring you can play. <laughs> Oh yeah, I see the the knives are helping me cut a path through these these dickheads here. I could use some health though. I need some chicken stat. 
Oh, no, I can't get boxed in here. Come on, give me a level up or give me a chicken. Something. Oh, a chest. Uh, that's a wand? Yeah. All right, well, cool. Oh, I'm gonna level up. Spinach. Let's keep going left, I guess. Yeah, I kind of broke, broke free somewhat. Here. Shit, these werewolves. Take a beating, these guys. Oh. Going in a different direction. Oh, I got hit. Gems, or else I'll never level up. Oh, it's the swarm of ghosts now instead of the swarm of bats. Shit. Ow. Oh, that ghost went crazy. How am I supposed to defend against that? <coughs> it's like a Pac-Man ghost on crack. Holy crap. Ghosts are way too damn fast, lol. Seriously, like... I mean, it's one thing if they were kind of like popcorn enemies and they would die after one one hit of anything but then they take multiple hits to to take out they take multiple hits before dying i mean uh i think my what's my best time so far my best time was what actually no i did before this, I think I was just shy of 13 minutes. I, I broke 13 minutes at least now. Yay. Yeah, my knives did the most work that time. I think the knives are... I, I'm getting to like the knives. Little, once you get multiple knives going, it's pretty good. So... I think I may skip the Bible next time. Um, for real. The Bible actually doesn't do too much. Not doing it for me. Let's stick with the girly boy here. Go for axe. I haven't used the axe yet today. <laughs> it's just sort of weird. It very much reminds me of the axe you get from uh, Castlevania. The 8-bit the, uh, one. Not the most precise of weapons, but when it does hit, it it hits. <laughs> 
How are you liking uh, God of War, Derek? You've been uh, streaming that a few uh, days now. can be quite the uh, spectacle. <laughs> Garlic! Or magic Wand. Let's go Magic Wand. I think a Magic Wand is really good as well. God of War is fun. The combat system is great and the cinematics are great too. I'm still getting used to fights where I'm surrounded by others. Then that all good. And the upgrades are a little overwhelming. Yeah, the upgrade system I also found overwhelming when I played it. Uh, what would happen is that I would, I would unlock some ability that would require like me to hold down the trigger and press something else and I always forget to use it. I always just like go back to my bread and butter, like light heavy, and I'd have a particular combo that I like doing, the one that stuns people, and then that was it, right? Uh, one cool thing I noticed with uh, the new God of War is it has like a heads up system of like if someone's about to hit you from behind, they actually have a little red arrow or some kind of indicator that tells you that somebody's behind you so I think that's handy it's kind of like it's sort of like a mechanic they took from a first person shooter well that was pretty smart I would say it's the crown they're not giving me the good power-ups this time they're not giving me uh, more knives they're not giving me the uh, lightning ring Yeah, that red arrow has been a lightsaber. It gives me just enough time to dodge. Yeah, yeah. That's certainly not a luxury you get in uh, Elden Ring. If you get jumped from behind, it's just, oh well. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> you should have been paying attention. Did I really need that chicken? I don't think I needed that chicken. Oh well. He's eaten. Not for the faint of heart. Ball. Oh, Elden Ring. <laughs> I will say though, I've had a pretty good week with Elden Ring. I've been collecting a lot of scalps in that game. So, I think I'm definitely picking up on momentum. Sure as hell took enough hours before kind of like gaining this momentum with the game definitely a, a, a slow burn the slowest of burns that game it does really require you to uh give it a chance really i mean yeah there's there's like it's like the anti Instant gratification that we, that we see in gaming these days. We're very much against the trend. Almost a bit old school in, in, in that way. Oh, they're finally giving me knives. Maybe too late to start upgrading the knives, but whatever. The axe basically forces you to position yourself so that you're aiming up. And and then down to an extent, but 
it's a lot harder to kind of know where the axes are gonna fall if you're planning on hitting people below you. What do we test that right now? Oh no! Screw the Bible. Uh. Hmm. I'll get the whip. Yeah, the good thing about Gennaro is he automatically get two whips because that's his uh, perk. He just doubles everything right off the bat. I can get a, a third whip. Let's see what a third whip's like. Oh, it just goes, just alternates each side. I, I thought it was. A, I, I thought it'd be going up and down as well. Whip it good. Oh, here we go. The enclosure. Actually, I'm a... The whips, I'm like a total... Close range badass, actually. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start leading into the knives. so bad at all. These ghoulies take a lot of hits, eh? The axe has to come out. Knife. Bag. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I, I know I sound rough. Um, and to be told, I'm not feeling 100%, but it's uh, not as bad as it. As it seems, uh, what I essentially get is like allergic symptoms for a day, and then it passes. That's that's what usually happens. Super I get the sniffles. Feels like I'm getting an allergic reaction to to pollen or some kind of dander it's in the air, and then. By the evening, it usually clears up. Oh shit, the bats. What I'm gonna do after this is I'm going to uh, go to the living room and turn on the air purifier. There, let's see if that helps. I almost brought up the uh, air purifier into the uh, office, but uh, I wasn't sure if I was a little bit paranoid, to be honest, of uh, tripping the uh, breakers. They're so sensitive in, uh, in our house. I never actually turned on the air purifier up in the office while also running on my PC equipment. So I didn't want to take that chance of uh, trying to reset my router and everything. And sometimes when my re router resets, it, it spells bad news for my internet connection. Just before a stream, I didn't want to didn't want to take that risk. You sound like how I sounded last week. <laughs> I said last week you didn't sound too bad at all, uh, Derek. I, I remember you're sniffling a bit, but uh, yeah, it wasn't wasn't nearly as bad as how I feel now. I'm finally not sniffling. That's awesome. Hope you heal up too. Hope you heal up soon. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Like I said. Uh, before, before the day is up, uh, I think it'll, it'll start to clear up for sure. Famous last words, right? Famous last words. More whips, more whips, y'all. 
Whips for your mama, whips for your papa. All the whips. We'll see how long I can last on this run. If if it's gonna be uh, somewhat short, like my doom is approaching. Uh, so if, if I can't survive that, then uh, I may have one more run in me and then I'll, and I'll call it. But if I set a new record this time before uh, buying the farm, then I may, I may call it quits. gaggle of guys down there. I'm not gonna go that way. Give me your gems. Actually going with all like the melee weapons this time is not bad. Knives, whips, Axes. It's not too shabby, actually. Gobble up all the, uh... Like, I'm decimating enemies fairly quickly. They're not soaking up too many hits before expiring, which is nice. So, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's get faster XP gains here. I think I've been sleeping on that upgrade too much. If I can boost my XP, then yeah, get stronger faster, right? That's the whole point of this game. I think one more level and the wall of skeletons is gonna come for me. Oh shit, what are we doing? These bats are tough. Take so many damn hits, look at that. Ah shit. Oh no, they give me the uh... Oh shit, I got hit again. Get out of there. <sighs> Chicken! Woohoo! I live to eat chicken another day. Oh, I don't need that chicken though. I'm going for the chest. I opened up the chest. Take me to the promised land. Wow, that chest is for her way. Damn. full screen it on my uh, monitor. I've been playing it in a small window. Not a small window, but like they have a default default size window when you run this game, but that can blow it up full screen. Ooh, look at that. Vampire vision. Big juicy pixels. You can see all the... Better to see all the jaggies. Oh shit, here it is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Cut a path to all these bozos. Oh yeah, the whip is invaluable. Because the whip does so much damage. Whew. More whips! Yeah, now we're cooking a fire. There we go. There we go. Oh, the, uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, I just I just need to sacrifice myself to get this weapon. <laughs> yeah, eat it! Look at the chest that came up. Oh, let's see what happens here. Smooth all them jaggies. This game would look amazing on a CRT TV. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one way to smooth up the jaggies. We got more axes, and we got a level up. 
More knives. And another chest? That's insane. Okay, a wand. Fine. I'll take it. Yeah! Three chests in a row. That's a first. Oh, give me more knives, baby. Ah, 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 want the knife. Oh, it's all little the gems, too. That That's why I'm leveling up so quickly. Hey, damage. Okay, the uh, flamethrower is gone. Oh, there's a chest there. Oh, I should go for it. I go for the damaging zones, I guess. Oh, I want the chest. But yeah, I don't want to get trapped. It just seems wiser to just <laughs> head away from the uh, angry mobs. I don't know, I kind of want to go for the chest though. I think it's maybe get chicken as well to... Oh baby. Whoops. Oh, there's another chest over there. Crazy. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Whips! Whip it good. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, look at all the leveling. Uh, more magic wand. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I got the chicken. So cute. Get another chicken while I'm at it. Get a little takeout. Oh, these crazy ghosts! Crazy ghosts! Oh no! Crazy Ghosts are my new uh, challenge. It's my best so far, though. Happy. Happy with my performance. Best I've ever done. Going for another chest, I guess. Let's see if there's a chicken down this way. Oh, I want a chicken. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. No! Ah! No! Oh! Oh, they start giving me all the tough enemies, the giant bats, all the werewolves. Oh, this is bad news. Oh, they didn't quite get to 15 minutes. Oh, I think I found a pretty good strat. I mean, the, uh, the whip, knife, the whip and knife combo. Maybe a little bit of the axe as well. They really serve me well with the uh, wall of skeletons uh, after level 12. But uh, once they start sicking the uh, giant bats and the werewolves and even the the hyperactive ghosts, yeah, it gets a little... Uh, I'm not quite sure how to deal with that stuff. Fourteen, fourteen, so close. <laughs> yeah, like I think getting to fifteen minutes, to me, if 
right now it's just like oh yeah you know i was so close to 15 minutes but actually it's a long time it's a, it's a decent amount of time to last oh okay It's uh, 3.29. I'm not going to go until 4 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to um, take a break, um, put on some tea, drink some nice tea, uh, turn on the air purifier, and uh, just rest for a bit. Um, after you do that, I also want to uh, start putting together and setting up my uh, new ring light. Um, I didn't quite have enough time to set that up for the stream today, but uh, hopefully for tomorrow night's stream, I'll have the new ring light set up and we'll see how that improves the uh, camera quality um, on the stream here. Yes, heal up. Run that purifier. Oh yeah, I will, man. I gotta crank that purifier up and uh, drink some tea. And uh, hopefully I'll be uh, in tip-top shape tonight. I hope to uh, see you uh, on your stream uh, tonight, Derek. Um, where I, I assume you'll be uh, firing up uh, Dad of War again. But uh, whatever the case may be, whatever game you decide to throw on, most likely I will be there uh, to say hello. So look forward to that. And what else? What else? What else? I don't think I got anything else. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Vampire Survivors. I may... I'm not going to make this game like the regular part of my uh, sort of like game rotation. But if I ever decide to just throw on like an unscheduled stream, um, like on my off day, I think Vampire Survivors may be sort of like at the top of my list for those streams. So look out for that. Look out for that. Um, but yeah, have a great rest of your afternoon as well, Derek. Um, finish strong at work, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll uh, see each other again uh, later tonight. And for the rest of you, thanks for watching. I will see you all later. Ciao.